Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. It's me, Zero. So, I wanted to create a really cool unboxing video, one that I haven't done before, and at this point, I may as well just be an unboxing video for furries out there because I seem to do a lot of them on this channel, but I do have this suit here, which none of you will have seen before. This was a custom made suit by a company called Floaty Kings. And I've actually bought this pre-owned. I'm not going to say who it's from, anything like that, because I respect their privacy. But this is a very cool suit, which blows up to be seven feet tall. Well, I should say seven feet in diameter. So what it does is it sucks in your hands, your feet, and your head. And the head has a cone shape. And what that does is it protects you from rolling onto your head. Yes, this suit lets you roll. You couldn't do this in the latex suit, which you have all seen in my videos because latex is not very durable. I mean, it is very stretchy, but it's not the kind of material you should be doing for rolling. I have actually rolled in that suit before and I got stuck like a turtle. This right here should not be a problem. So I want to do skits using this suit here. However, the big issue with this is that since the suit sucks in your head in like a cone shape, there is no way I can wear my fursuit head in it. There's no way I can really use my feet in it because it's like, I think you have to do like, um, like I can't really do it cause I don't have the space here, but I was originally going to do this at my friend Zandil's place. However, unfortunately I was too excited to do this. I have to wait just two more days and then I will be able to go over there and then do it with him. However, I have just been too excited and I've really been wanting to unbox this. This huge box here has been taunting me. It is 25 pounds and it gets really, really big. So I wanted to do an unboxing video of this. This is not made by a Chinese company or any company that you see out there on Etsy or Ali, what is it called? Alibaba or no, Alibaba. It's nothing from there. It's actually really high quality material. And someone actually offered me to do a trade of the suit because it's something which is so, something that's normally on, not on the market, which is why I had to impulse buy this. So another thing I wanted to mention is that you may not be seeing the suit much more on the channel anymore. This is going to be like the one and only time that you'll be able to see this. I just wanted to make this video just to show you how cool that this suit is. And I don't think I can really find any way to implement it into my skits. Now, the really cool thing about this suit is since it's PVC plastic, what you can do is you can actually, like I mentioned, you can roll in it because it's very durable but also when it inflates and you pull the pump away, it's not going to push air out because it's not pushing, it's not trying to like compress back into its normal shape. It's one fixed size and it's kind of like blowing up a plastic bag, you know? You blow up a bag, you pull it away or whatever, and it's not going to deflate. So that's the really cool thing about the suit. And because of that, I can use a, surprisingly a dog dryer that looks like this on the screen right here. And I've actually used this for the blueberry suit. But what this does here is it blows it in with warm, no, it's cool air, and it does it really, really quickly. Unfortunately, the nozzle on this isn't going to be too big, so I'll have to experiment a little to see how it looks. So I'm just going to have to see how it works in two days. Uh, right after I make this video, I'm going to be uploading it pretty much the next day because I'm really excited to get this video out there. And I really don't think I'll have enough room to do rolling in. So I'm just going to have to wait until another time maybe. Maybe I'll do another YouTube video on this, even though I just said this may be the only video I'll make. But I am really excited to try out the rolling part, but I just need more space. I may need an executive suite at a hotel in order to do that because of all that room. So anyways, whew, that was a long intro. So how about we dive into this? So I am going to unbox it right here. There was... Yeah, I can pull it right here. I am doing my best not to tear into the tape here because it is very tightly packed. As you see, I don't want to cut it because it's going to be too risky to, um, to cut into because I don't want to ruin the suit. And actually the suit is more like a bundle because it includes a patch kit and a couple of pumps as well as some glue that will help with um, the repairs as well.
Also, by the way, as I'm unboxing this, I just wanted to say that if you do plan to go to Floaty Kings to try and get a suit just like this, I've heard that they don't normally do suits like this, so you may be out of luck if you want to try and get a suit like this. So there are a couple other places you can go to. I don't know of any off the top of my head. I may include some in the description, but it is not available for purchase for me. And I don't really see, like I just mentioned, I don't really see these up for sale too often. So once I saw it, I decided I had to get it. And I want to show you all how cool it is. So you may be able to find these on Alibaba but just be very careful of ordering from China right now because of COVID. And also a lot of their stuff can be a little fishy at times. Like if you order from Wish, that's a good example. And there's actually a really cool looking blueberry suit, which I probably wouldn't mind getting if I didn't get this one. It's, significant, it's significantly cheaper than how much that this cost. It actually doesn't look too bad. I actually think it looks better than this one, but it's also, what was I gonna say? It's also, I think it lets you roll on it because it is PVC plastic as well. Oh boy. So here we go. I took long enough, so here's, the first one here, obviously I don't really need this because I have three pumps already, so. That's just the first part here. Is it in focus? Okay, good, so. There's that right there. And then, okay, so here's the valve. And actually I am wondering if the dog dryer valve is the same size, it's normally not meant for inflating, but it's actually really close to how wide that the really good dryer is that I have for inflating, so. This thing is massive. I'm not going to be inflating it right now, but you will see in this video. So here it is. Let me try to unravel it a little more here. <laughs> this is freaking huge. Damn, okay. I honestly don't even know if it's going to fit, but, and there goes the box, damn, okay. We have this here, it looks like another kind of hose to it. It kind of looks like a grenade. Ah. It looks like this. And it really, it actually really does look like a grenade. That's the handle on it. Yeah, I've actually never seen this kind of pump before, so I wonder how loud it is. Cause I just bought a new one recently and I actually really like this. It's like, I'll step back a little more here. The hose is like a spring almost. So like, I'll drop it here. So it actually extends, which I really like here. So this may be really good in future skits. It looks like here we have a adapter here or a splitter, I should say, for uh, power plugs. I can't quite tell what this is in my head here. Oh, this is a remote for one of them, I think. I don't know for what exactly. You have some spare valves here. And then this is the patch kit with the glue. So it looks like this here. I, yeah, that's the rest in there. So I don't really want to crawl in here because I am not wearing something to hide my face in. I don't want my clothes to stink here. But holy crap, this is huge. Like it's touching the ground right now. And it's almost as tall as me. So I will cut over here, uh, skipping two days ahead here where I'm going to be at Zandil's place. We can try this and we are going to see 
just how big that this gets. We actually had to measure how tall that his ceiling was. So then we made sure that the suit wouldn't hit the top. So I've been rambling enough here. You guys came here before seeing this. So how about we go check it out, okay? Hey guys, I'm back at Zandil's place. Now I'm wearing a different head, so I'm sorry if the audio sounds a little different. I just wanted to quickly say one more thing. Uh, I forgot to mention this in the previous part, but there's a special valve in one of the arm slots, so it's kind of like an emergency valve that you can pull if you roll on your head or something like that. Um, but with that said, I wanted to just, we got the suit unrolled and Zandiel, uh, Zandiel and I are just going to hold up the suit here just so then you can see how big that the suit actually is here. So let me just change angles here. All right. That's how big that the suit is. So it's pretty huge. So we're going to start to inflate it and let's see if we have enough room to roll. Damn, this is Okay guys, so we have the suit inflated. Sorry if my suit here is a little overexposed. Uh, there's a window right behind us here, but um, this is what the suit looks like and it's huge. I'm about six foot when my, or when you measure me from my feet to my ears here when I'm in my suit here. And um, yeah, this over towers both of us. I think we might have enough space for rolling in this because I think, yeah. It's going to be harder when we have a person in there, but we're just going to be really careful. So we're going to deflate the suit a little bit and then we're going to cut on over to where uh, I'll be in the suit here. And then I'm just going to see how rolling works. So let's just see how that works, all right? <laughs> 